refugee model. So the 14th ordinary session of the plenary assembly of the Forum of Parliaments of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region spent a day discussing the role of parliaments in the fight against child marriage in the region, which has 12 states. It was noted that the incidents and risk of child marriages are exacerbated in times of conflict, insecurity, gender inequality, and gender-based violence, among others. The legislators from Kenya pointed out the need to change mindset, especially in communities which believe in early marriage. Because I realize all these organizations trying to talk about condemning women, telling them not to get married, telling them not to, 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 to drop out of school, are not actually tackling the right people. The right people to tackle is the men. Because these women are not marrying each other. It is the men who are marrying these women. Even with issues of FGM, it is the men who are saying they cannot marry uncircumcised girls. Onyango Kakoba is the Secretary General of the Forum. I see GL member states, we need to work on the issue of uh, making sure that we disseminate information against the practice. Information dissemination is very important because some of these laws are in place, but the ordinary people don't even know in a number of countries. And therefore, it is also part of the role of the parliamentarians. It was also agreed that men should be involved in the fight against child marriage since they are the perpetrators. The boy, even if he was younger than you, he was supposed to escort you to the well, escort you to the forest to fetch firewood, and then he would be promised that the more you keep your sister safe, the more bride price we shall give you when she, she marries. So they had a motivation. I've had something called He for She. Those are very wonderful initiatives. Because if today our pastoralist men wake up and say, we want to marry uncircumcised girls, life will be better. There will be no more FGM because all this FGM is to please the men. The firm also wants the laws in the fight against the vice to be harmonized across the Great Lakes region. So what happens is that if the law is not applicable in one country and it's applicable in the other one, uh, these ones uh, run over to the other country. They do what is illegal in one country but not very legal in the other country and then come back and vice versa. The reason is saying that the moment you have the right mindset then you can't lose. We practice what we have learned or sometimes we learn what we should practice and therefore all the legislators from the Great Lakes region have been tasked to ensure that they change the mindset of the boy child. We are supposed to protect the girl child and if all the NGOs and other agencies direct the resources towards that effort then it will go a long way in stopping early marriages. Sudil Yorhanga, NTV.